Hello everyone. Um, this question we get asked quite often, where people can't differentiate whether they should keep their data into the leads or they start putting them into the deals or opportunities or prospects. Well, to start with, there is one name, one module can get called three different ways, which is deals, opportunities, and prospects, which is exactly the same purpose for all the three names. But what we want to talk about in this video is about when, where is the line between the leads and the deals? Well, for this video purpose, we're only going to in between the deals. We'll call all the prospects and opportunities as the deals. So basically, when you receive an inquiry, let's let's start uh, marking these things down how we want it to see it. Basically, what you do is you have a website, you have a contact form on the website, and from your website, somebody have went in and put it in an inquiry for your business. So this inquiry is sitting, ideally, it should come into the in your leads and from your leads you will start doing your activities on it basically the first activity that you might do is an acknowledgement email that you want to send it to them and once you have done the acknowledgement email hopefully your CRM should be able to do this part once the email has been sent as the acknowledgement you're going to make a phone call to check it out that yes what is it that the client is after here then you may end up in creating the task or a reminder for yourself because your client might not answer in the same day you might need your colleague to follow this one up so once the task been created or you may end or your business process might be that you're going to go and see the client you're going to have some sort of online appointment or in-person appointment so in the CRM terms, we call them events or you can call them appointments as well. So until you qualify that inquiry, whether this, quali this inquiry does have a prospect, the client is looking for what you sell for as well. There is, so until then you call them or you can keep them into the leads. You can associate the products to this as well. So what products that they are after, you might have a requirement for them to supply some sort of information and you're going to save them in as an attachment. So that's where the line is. Just basically, until you qualify your inquiry, you keep them into the leads. As soon as you have qualified them and you see that there is a prospect in it, you're going to send the proposal to these clients and yes you do have what they are looking for or they is exactly what you they are after that's where you go and create the deals you may end up in repeating some of these uh, activities again for example making the phone calls sending the emails and, and going and meeting them as well so the, the video purpose yes that's that's where the difference is where until you qualify, you keep them in leads. And after you qualified them, you convert them into the deals, and that's where you start taking them on. You may end up in sending the proposal, but one thing for sure, you haven't won their business yet. And this this part, you can implement your CRM better. So I just wanted to share this part with you guys because this question gets asked very frequently from us majority of times when we are looking at any implementation that already have been done in the business or the client is although sometime we even uh, in first hand we trained them and the second time they come and ask again so I thought this would be very useful to everyone so please remember our website is the same itsolutionsolve.com.au if you have more questions, you can go and come to our contact us page. You can book a free appointment. So if you need any help or anything, feel free to make comments and share other to other people as well who you may think this might be useful to them. For today, for that's pretty much it. 